Dear students, now we are going to discuss energy band structure in detail. Let's start with the definition of energy band. According to Bohr's theory, the electrons in each orbit of an atom possess certain amount of energy. As we all know that the atomic structure has its own number of orbits or shells. Correct, this is the nucleus which consists of the proton and neutron and the electrons are moving around this nucleus in the orbits. Okay, so these are the orbits. Okay, so each orbit contains its own fixed number of electrons. The maximum of electrons present in that orbit is 2n squared. Do you all understand? So here the electrons in each orbit constitute certain amount of energy. The grouping of that energy levels is known as energy bands. Is that okay? There are different types of energy bands available. Valence band, conduction band and forbidden energy gap. Okay, so this is the energy band structure. This is the valence band. This one is conduction band. In between we are having the energy gap. That is denoted as forbidden energy gap FEG. With respect to this electronic energy in the orbit. Okay. Let's discuss each band in detail here. The electrons in the outermost orbit of an atom are known as valence electrons. These electrons are not tightly held up to the nucleus of the atom. That means at room temperature, these valence electrons leave from the orbit and become a free electrons. So these are not tightly held to the nucleus. Okay. The energy level of this valence electrons is known as valence band. It has the highest energy level. Okay. Next one is conduction band. At room temperature, the valence electrons leave the outermost orbit and become free electrons. Here outermost orbit means valence orbit. Okay. Since the free electrons conduct the electric current, these all are known as conduction electrons. Okay. The electrons in the outermost orbit are known as valence electrons. The free electrons are known as conduction electrons. The energy level of this conduction electrons is known as conduction band. It is having the lowest energy level. Okay. The next one is forbidden energy gap, simply FEG. This is the energy gap between the valence band and conduction band. It doesn't have any energy level because there are no electrons present in this gap. Okay. So, this are the three levels in the band structure.